this video is going to be another fidget gear type of uh, project like I did last week. It's another Steve Good pattern. He calls this Wacky Gears. It's based on this Nautilus design, which is from the Fibonacci spiral, a number sequence that he came up with, an Italian, many years ago. It's used in nature extensively. He lives in the Nautilus shell of flower petals, how they're arranged around the center of the flower, and uh, unnameable other examples. It fits into everything, including stock market and everything that happens in this world. Uh, so the world's based on numbers, and it's just a representation of that. And it's very interesting uh, to see this work when you put these gears together. He has a video of it on his blog. But I'm going to see if I can uh, do it and make it work like I did the last one, make it look as good as the last one did. Now he's got uh, just a piece of dowel with a keeper on it. I'm going to do like I did with the uh, other little project. I'm going to use some uh, uh, pegs, axle pegs, like used for a little model car. And I'm going to drill the holes accordingly. And I'll show you the patterns. It's just real simple. Just three patterns. You got the base, and you got the little riser that holds the gears. And you got the two gears. And I'm going to cut those out together. And again, this is critical getting these holes centered, especially here. Uh, because if I get one wrong, they're both wrong, and they'll be, when it depends on how they spin around together, it could multiply as it goes around, and they won't work at all. So I got to make sure I get those exactly accurate. So anyway, I'm going to drill those. Now I got one other entry hole to drill for the base, and then I'm going to put it to the scroll saw, and we'll cut it out. And it'll be quick to put together, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work but I think I can make it work if I'm really careful drilling these holes. So I'm going to go do that. And i got to drill these entry holes also, of course. I'm going to do that, and then we'll uh, get to cutting on it. Okay, i got all the holes drilled. I've got a number five blade. A little bit large maybe for some of these, but it'll be okay. And uh, I'm going to just follow that spiral out and cut it, and then I'll cut the external part. It all cut out, uh, doing a just a dry run. Nothing's glued together. I didn't cut the ends of those pegs or anything. But what I do have is a slight little, especially going the other direction. That gear wants to hang right there. Well, the deal is that's where I started and ended the cut on both of them. And there's this tiny little ridge right there. So I'm gonna take that over and just slightly sand it and. For sure it's going to work perfectly after that. It works pretty well anyway. Uh, just a slight little, every once in a while it'll hang a little bit right there. But it's generally working good. Going the other direction, it wants to catch right there. So I'm going to, I'm going to put the little light sanding right there and test it. And I'm going to glue it together. Well, there it is. It's finished and it works. Uh, not unhappy with it. It cut very well and uh, it works together really well. Another one of the little fascinating little fidget type things. Uh, mechanical. I like to build mechanical movable things with wood. And that's 
It's kind of fascinating. Got odd shaped gears and they mesh together and work just right because of the ratios. So anyway, if you like that, hit the like button. As you can see, I guess I, I guess I made it look like the original. But if you hit, like that, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'm always looking for things like this because, like I say, I like to make things that move. So, uh, hope to see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed that. So, thanks for watching.